Hello, Mark. Welcome to uh, Blackburn Diocese. Uh, uh, going thank to you, be... thank you, Ronnie. It's raining, so I know I'm in East Lancashire. <laughs> it's going to be um, uh, a few months before you actually start as the Archdeacon of uh, Blackburn. But uh, just tell us a wee bit about your background and and uh, where you've come from and uh, uh, where you studied that kind of thing. Well, I grew up in uh, the south of England, uh, and then I went to university in Scotland for four years uh, to St Andrews. And then I went abroad to, as a teacher to Pakistan. Teaching is in the blood. Both my parents are teachers. Uh, my brother's a teacher. His wife's a teacher, uh, and so on. And I was teaching English and history and geography in the foothills of the Himalayas for a year, which was very formative, really. Uh, and then I came back from that to Wycliffe Hall in Oxford for two years. Uh, and then to, I was ordained in Blackburn Cathedral uh, on the 30th of June in 1984. Uh, and after doing a first curacy at, uh, at St Gabriel's in Blackburn, I was off to Lancaster for two years. Uh, I was curate of Lancaster Priory, uh, a very different kind of tradition, uh, learning to sing uh, a Marbeck with a very good uh, uh, four-part four choir, uh, being chaplain of uh, Lancaster Prison uh, in the old castle as it was then. Uh, and then I moved from there to be vicar of Baxenden. Uh, and after nine years in uh, Baxenden, I went back down south to Litchfield Diocese to work as diocesan missioner. Uh, and then for the last nine years, I've been uh, vicar of two churches in Shropshire, uh, one a town centre church and one a very small uh, rural farming community. Right, thank you, that's, that's great. And, uh, and it's good that you've had such a, a broad range of experience in this diocese in fact and you must be mm. looking forward to moving back well i'm looking forward very much to being back in lancashire we've still got many friends here and lancashire also has a special association because it's where i met jill my wife uh, we both uh, were working in uh, baxenden uh, well we were living in baxenden i was vicar and jill was uh, senior pharmacist at the then queen's park hospital and in terms of the the role of archdeacon of blackburn um, your predecessor was in it for 13 years, um, John Hawley. Do you see this role as a pivotal one and what do you hope to achieve in the next few years as Archdeacon? Bishop Julian described the role to me as being like the oil in the engine, uh, the hidden uh, stuff that keeps the whole engine of the diocese running smoothly. And I rather like that image because I think the job of the Archdeacon is to be in the background to support the clergy and the church wardens and leaders in the parishes in the real work of making new disciples for Jesus Christ and transforming communities. And if I can be uh, a friend and a support and a help uh, to those leading the local churches, well that's good because I've been there for 30 years, I've done that kind of job, so I'm looking forward to that. But I'm really looking forward to coming back to a diocese where there is such a clear uh, vision for growth and for making new disciples. Vision 2026 inspires me all about healthy churches, transforming communities. Quite a bit of the writing and thinking that I've been doing has been around discipleship and mission action planning. And I hope that I'll be able to bring something of that to this role. But I also think that uh, working with Bishop Philip and Bishop Julian and uh, the whole staff team, I'm going to learn loads because there's such a wealth of experience there. So it's a bit of a daunting adventure, but I'm excited and up for it. Excellent. And uh, from your point of view, moving forward, your, your wife and yourself, you're moving back to, uh, to Lancashire. Um, do you have any hobbies that you're hoping to pursue here, like uh, climbing or walking or anything like that? Well, when I last lived in Lancashire, my big hobby was motorcycling, going on the back saddle road up to oh, Kirby Lonsdale for bacon <laughs> butters. But, but I don't have a motorbike now. Uh, but I'm hoping to be able to continue sailing, which is a, a, a hobby I've been learning the last couple of years. Uh, and I'm also looking forward to being able to be within striking distance of the Lake District again. I used to go out very regularly before the crack of dawn up to, uh, up to somewhere in the lakes to go walking and on my day off. And I look forward to that again. Well, you're very welcome, and we look forward to your arrival in February, is it? Uh, in, yes, I think uh, in February, but I would value your prayers and the prayers of anybody who's uh, watching uh, for Jill and me. It will be a big upheaval saying goodbye to a lot of very special friends in Shropshire. Thank you.